Welcome back, guys. Uh, tonight's video, we want to highlight uh, three new players that have recently joined the league and brought some interesting builds. Uh, joining me tonight on the commentary is Triple V. How are you? Hey, what's going on? All right. And uh, so, yeah, it's really interesting. We've got a lot of new players joining, a lot of new players getting into the mix. And right now, we're going to take a look at some of what these guys are bringing into the arena. So on the left, we have Gurr. Uh, and on the right, we have TJ Brown. Have you seen some of these players play? Have you played with any of these guys? Uh, I played with Gurr, I believe. Yes. He's got something really interesting going on with the Water Prison and the Signature Dynamo. This was a build that was uh, suggested by Psycat, I believe. I'm going to have to look that name up. And uh, he wanted uh, one of the players to try it out in the arena. And Gur took a real liking to it, and as you can see, it's it it's got some potential. It can trap you and hold you and not let you go, and do a ton of damage. So that's one thing that you know some of these players are bringing: brand new builds, experiment uh, experimental builds, creative things. Um, and we see that also with what TJ's got going on there with the drill, right? Yeah, so the fact that they're new players, the the best part about it is that it's unique with their with their loadouts because they don't have any past experiences or preconceived notions where, oh, you're not supposed to use this with that. So to them, it's like a fresh, clean slate. So they'll just mismatch, mix match something random, and it might be amazing that no one ever really thought about in the past. Yes, exactly. They'll bring something from the PVE that we... Um you know, normally we say, well, it's good there, but it's not good here. It's good there. So. Yeah. And um, look at that. Keeping distance from those homing flares. Smart to do that. Uh, and with what TJ's got, he's got the the drill plus the homing flares. Um, drill plus homing flares. You pull those homing flares out, hit them with that drill, but unfortunately the aqua beam extinguished them. Uh, Gur right now has a great response to the homing flares in the aqua beam, and there's really not much you can do for it. But that's yeah, exactly that's... how you use them. That's Pop a great em. drill. Yeah, it's great defense. I mean, that aqua beam just got to make sure that you keep your distance right away and you keep hitting that? him. That's exactly yep. how you got to do that, and that's exactly what that aqua beam, like you say, was trying to prevent. Drill. Yeah, but the thing, down. when when you're cooling down and you can't use it, that's that's a window of opportunity where you make the wrong dash into the wrong direction, and it might be lights out. Right, and the other thing to know with that aqua beam is it's pretty it's pretty awkward to wield. So when you're out there spraying. You can't turn too well, and if you got something yes. that's very nimble, like the drill, you're, you know, you can have a, a, a flank wide open, yep. and you can be taken advantage of there. Yep, yep. But so far, these guys are showing us what these builds can do. They're using them perfect. They're none of this is random. Homing flares, and he's going to be waiting for that opportunity for that drill right there, and that's it. He's got some seekers to help him out. Not gonna, yep. you know, you're not gonna throw those away yeah there they are yeah these these uh these two players it's they they just going for each other's throats i mean they smell weakness and they're taking advantage of the opportunity completely yes they have two very um you know uh unique strategies they know exactly what they want to accomplish and it's just a matter of who's going to get it off first right here tj with the flares drill flares drill and then here we got Gur. he's going to start to make some space he wants to make a little bit of space water prison he ended up tossing that out into nowhere uh, but that one that one was on target if uh, TJ was in line perfect hit perfect hit with the surge I don't the dynamo I don't know why that didn't catch that um, but yeah he knows exactly what he wants to do here well wow, that very, one was real close yeah 43 health points yep see that that these these matches were super up close bang 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 very up close look at that perfect execution and a follow-up with some bolts once you catch someone in the corner or stuck on, on the statue, it really yeah. is potentially just game over if you can't get out of it. But yeah. Garrett did a great job of of turning the turning yeah, the situation in his favor. I mean, right now it's pretty much it's even in terms of HP. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, Perfect very, execution. Yeah, wow. Yeah. What a way very to get close. out of that. <laughs> I gotta say I'm I'm a fan of I'm a fan of this build. So, and that's one thing having these spectators come out, watch these matches. You know, we have a lot of players and we have a lot of people who are you know just as creative, who are in you know in the stands, 
you know, in yeah. the voice chat, in the text chat, just throwing out great ideas for us. Oh, he tried to pick that up. He couldn't do it. Yep. That's another art in itself. The uh, I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> is being able to pick those pick those cards up while you're on the run. And there's uh, so many blues. Yeah. Yeah. How's that bad, possible? They're... Every single one of them. <laughs> I've never seen that before. And not one of them is usable. <laughs> Trust me, I have personal experience. The second that you miss it, you just get stuck there trying to pick it up and. You, that's it. You, you, it's like you're in quicksand. The opponent sees that, and he's going to just pounce on you. Yep. So it's like you that's... either pick it up or you have to run away really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is definitely something to get used to. And and what's what's great to see right here, we've got uh, both players taking a match off each other, Gurr and TJ, one and one in this best of three. Yep. And, uh, yeah, they're not slowing down. Look at that. Especially See. for two new players in the PvP. I'm sure they, I believe they played PvE. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. And, um. Because if this was, like, their first introduction to the game, I'd be amazed that they're playing exactly. this good. But they know, they got the movements down. They've got the movements. They've got the, the general strategy. It's, it's aggression. It's forcing the other player to act. And it's, you know, it's, it's taking over the tempo. Um, that, they... You know, knowing when you have the leverage and pushing that leverage, and look at look at these yes. matches coming down to like so fractions close. of health. These are very evenly, evenly played matches. Yes. Uh, they are currently on the leaderboard. Uh, if you take a look at them on the leaderboard, you'll see them. Uh, they participated in the ranked matches for the first time uh, this this past session. Um, Gurr had a bit of a tough time. I don't think that his, his rank is reflecting his skill. I mean, especially watching him here. He had a very tough card. I think he played uh, council members uh, all night long. So we are not we are not uh, going to go easy on him because yeah. he's new. And especially yeah. when you, you see this performance. I mean, he has what it takes to really, uh, you know, rank up. Yeah, and that's the only way that anyone's going to get better. That's it. You got to play against the best. You got to, you know, you, you really want to learn if this water prison build works. Well, you're going to have to try it against everybody. Yeah, find out. And it may take it may take some um, tweaks here and there. Maybe maybe it's not the dynamo. Maybe it's the scimitar that's got to be paired up with it. But I mean, as of right now, he knows exactly how to use it. Wow, very TJ dominating Brown. round. Yeah, very dominating and round. Awesome. Awesome matchup between these two guys. Yep. Very amazing to see. Very unique play styles. Um, so we have another matchup we want to take a look at. Uh, we want to take a look at Gurr versus uh, Trey Gao. And uh, Trey Gao, another uh, new player. Um, he is also playing melee builds for the most part. Um, he really likes this Vine Whip. Again, another spell that... Uh, a lot of us were sort of writing off, um, saying that it's it's not powerful enough, it's very hard to hit, it's very unforgiving. But um, just because he's a fan of it, he is bent on making it work, and, yeah. and he does. You know, he's got a couple of great combos with it. Um, so hopefully... Yeah, at the end, you can make anything work. I mean, every job has its tool, you just got to make sure that you're using it the right way. And it might be the perfect fit for him. Exactly. It it comes along not only with what you pair it up with, but how you play, uh, how your tactics, your general tactics. Are you, you know, sort of always in your face? Are you sort of let the opponent make the work, you know, first mistake and then you pounce? Um, so different things are going to work not only with different spells, but you know, with different play styles, different play strategies, and and the different uh, personalities. Yeah. from the players are definitely going to going to show up uh, in the arena. That's what we'll go for. Okay, so here we go. Trey Gow and Gurr. Gurr in the shadow rope. Uh, yeah, he's going to be playing that water prison against Trey Gow. Trey Gow uh, with the Maelstrom and the, uh, and the Vine Whip. So he's got two very up-close spells right there. And we're going to see how how he makes them work. Big fan of the of the shadow. It does have a cool look to it. Uh, personally, I'd like to, I, the the transparentness. I would have liked to seen like uh, you know, like an opaque black 
you know, like almost like a noob Sabot from mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I would have been more of a fan of that. But it, what's useful is uh, during the PvP, if we're using buffs, we can players can use the same ropes, which is. But for the most part, we use, wow, let's see. Yeah, yeah. And there it goes. He he's a fan of this. I'm a fan of this now. Not sure about the stone shot. I did like the vault disc better. Um, for me, he uses it very well though. He's yes, he's using it. He's using it real well. But this basic the right here, it yeah, you're right. It does. Stone shot is gonna keep your distance. It's gonna it's gonna push him away. It's a little bit slower, so it's not as great for the combo as the bolt disc is. I mean, for my for my taste anyway. I, yes, it's looks like a little bit more damage as long as his cooldowns are there and he can gra grab his. Yeah, I mean he just stick. keeps. He just keeps keeping uh, the distance away, and then once he sees that you get hit a few times, he just pounces on you and hopefully he takes advantage of it. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And we're going to have to see how Trey Gao is going to learn to deal with this. If he's going to stick with this setup, uh, if he were to lose this match, if he would stick with this setup, or if he were to make some changes. Um, as of right now, I think he's finding it hard to approach. Girl. Yeah, anytime uh, he gets close, he's got a he's got yeah he's got a water prison. Wait. Yeah, I mean it's like a boxer with just an amazing jab. You, anytime you look to get close, you're just gonna get uh, jabbed every single time. Yep. Okay, and we're gonna see some yeah we're gonna see an adjustment from Trago. Let's see let's see what he thinks the response is. And he's another player coming in with some completely uh, different builds. Uh, a lot of new ideas um, and you know and sticking with them and and trying to make them work and I think that's I think that's very important for the league overall uh, for us to find new synergies to find new strategies new styles and to keep things interesting you know nobody wants to see the same same matchups over and over uh, no matter exactly. how good they are yeah um, so let's see what uh, yeah, it's always nice to have uh, uh, some fresh air. That's right. Yeah, something new. New blood. Yep. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see what he's thinking about. He's changing up the signature. Okay, to the <laughs> axes. Now these things are gonna do a lot of damage, but they're gonna they're they're short range. Lots of damage, short range. Uh, probably better than the maelstrom. Let me get two of them. And let's see, Gur is gonna make a completely different build. Now this is another thing. Oh, he's going double jumps. Okay. So now he goes double jumps, and now what does Trey God do? Does he still think that his build is good for double jumps, or now he sees double jumps, and I think he's thinking, okay, well. But you know, what'll be funny. Uh, I, no, not funny. You know, it'll be interesting if, kind of like poker, when like last to, last to bet, like, cause I mean, in theory, you could just keep going back and forth and keep changing. Mm -hmm, yes. So I think that maybe there should be something where you just, you know, uh, after the second change, you can't change no more. This is actually a discussion that has been going back and forth in the casual matches. Obviously, we want to see matchup versus matchup. So players oh, yeah. can say, you know, say, you know, what, keep that build. I actually want to counter that. So I want you to keep that so I can play against it. Hold on. Let me change it. Um, in ranked matches, it's sort of negotiation. Uh, could there be a limit? Uh, potentially <laughs> in tournament play, we're trying to figure out what to uh, how well, to do that. But those discussions are ongoing. We're going to figure out the best. That also adds a whole another element of game theory to it. Imagine picking a fake loadout just to get the other opponent to switch, exactly. so you could go so, to pick your real loadout. <laughs> right. So we're going to have to really fine tune that and get the best solution. But for right now, what we're looking at is a full mono water build from Tregal. Very, he's very creative. He likes to try these things, and and uh, again, he's he's not going to be told what what he wants to see for himself. And I'd like that cascade I'm, punch. And I'm a fan of that. Water pull in. I'm a fan of picking uh, one element the and just sticking builds. with it. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Yeah, I think it's got a cool look aesthetic to it, that's for sure. But yeah, look how big that punch is. He, I think what he's going to look to, and the bubble blast dash again. Oh, that's man. not something you see a lot. I've never but, even seen that. Yeah, that's going to keep that's going to keep uh, Gur from pushing in too hard. And being that he's got a movement build with these double jumps, he's going to keep trying to push in. And he's trying ah, to pick up a water there. Arcana, yeah. picking up a water arcana for his uh, 
for his uh, fifth and sixth. He's got a full. He's got a full six bell water. I yep. think he's going for the. I think he's going for a seventh. <laughs> Come on, I want to see this water build work. These two are very Make well work. matched up. Make it work. There he there goes. There you go. <laughs> another. Yeah, another even matchup. Another even matchup. Um, I like that water pull in. That water basic is tricky. Slow, but I'm, I'm thinking it's doing some damage though. It covers a wide area. Yeah, I mean they both have uh, good distance uh, loadouts where it keeps each other in check. It's hard to really get close, and then whoever is able to get close then just has to take advantage of it. Yeah, it's going to be Gur always on the approach, I think, and for Trey to make his work, he's always going to have to be on the distance or the defense and sort of right there. You see that? Pull yep. back, let him pop in, and then sort of zip back in and trying to find what that perfect distance is so he can take advantage of it, like right there. Uh, full water punch into the, um, you know, into his standard pull in and, uh, and punish. Trying to figure it out. And he's got those bubbles for that little bit of cushion. Popping those bubbles. He can't get too close because he's going to get stutter stepped. He's baiting it out. Look, he's pulling it in. He's baiting it out. And then hit and run with that water punch. Yeah. yeah an extra pickup is such a huge advantage that it really is. I and, and, always and mess up. And especially when look what he's doing. He's literally only going for a full water build. Yeah. And so to actually t pull this off where he wins two matches in a row going for a full mono build i mean you got to take your hat off to him yep <laughs> yep that's funny that's great yeah no that's great that's great so these guys are one and one again a, another match between uh the two new players going the full the full three rounds let's see let's see what they uh they come back with this time Is he gonna go full? Is he gonna go full uh, Earth build? Mock stunners for Gur. Mock stunners and the perforating jet. I think he's inspired to do the same here. It looked like he wants to do. Oh, he was holding on air dash for a second. Let's see. Let's see. These perforating jets, Gur has been talking about these perforating jets. He likes these things. Uh, they've got some distance, um, and I'm not sure how much between these three. Doing. Between these three new players, I haven't seen uh, any of these spells in uh, in PvP. Yes, the brand new. These guys are bringing a lot of new stuff, and I love it. Look at that perforating jet into the mock stunner plus the uh, plus the birds. And uh, yeah, I think I think Gurz definitely has a, a similar play style to, to me and the way I play with this stun lock and punish. Um, I think Arcana is very similar uh, to Arcana stun lock and punish type builds. Uh, Tregao uh, going for more of a melee build. Same with same with T.J. Brown, another melee player. Yeah, these two are just. I really hope that they end up being matched up to play each other in the in in the competitive matches because they're just uh, so quality matches. They, even yeah, matched and yeah, and they're so well. The spectators together. win, going down to sixty three hit points on this first match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see uh, the bracket once it's drawn up in the Lenovo Cup. Both these players will be. Uh, participating in the uh, Lenovo Cup, and uh, I expect to see some some really good good matches between these guys. And anyone who's playing them, even if they're new to the scene, I I would not write them off. Yep. Surprised he didn't pick that up. What's that down there? Uh, mm -hmm. Is he full up? No, he's got room. Yeah, he can put, pick one more up. Is this gonna be Trago? This might be Trago. This is going to be tough for her to get out of this one. Trago getting super aggressive with these. Yeah. Super aggressive now. He went from baiting baiting it out, baiting it out, and then punishing to full-on aggressive. And that's yep. really what makes a good player. Trago taking that match from Gurr. Uh, that really is what makes a good player. Knowing when to switch gears. Knowing when to, you know, pull back when you don't have the leverage and knowing when to push the action when you do, when you do have the strength. And uh, I got to say, I'm very excited to see, uh, you know, these players, you know, uh, continue to grow and, and, and build on their knowledge, continue to participate in the 
in the sessions and, and rank up on the leaderboard. What do you think? Yeah, no, I agree. I mean, it's 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 great having fresh new blood because you get to see these unique uh, builds and, and then they're playing each other. So it brings a whole other element to the game where whoever was dominating before is, might not be dominating going forward when you have uh, someone that's coming in there with a brand new set of uh, tricks that you don't, you've never really played against. Exactly, and that's exactly what we're going to see. And I, I, I don't doubt to see... Uh, uh, some real changes on the leaderboard. We've got, we've got a little bit more than halfway uh, to go on the season, and uh, I'm excited to see the outcome. So yep. uh, that'll do it for this uh, for this session. And Triple V, thanks for showing up. Always a pleasure. All right, and we'll see you guys on the field. Take care.